In this video, we'll be covering the basics of interacting with Garrett, pushing a change and amending that change. Now this is pretty simple and it's covered in the Infra Manual already, but I'm including it for completeness and because sometimes it's easier to learn things when you're having them demonstrated for you as opposed to just reading text on a page. Although, strictly speaking, this is also just text on a page, but whatever. I'll be using the Sandbox repo that OpenStack Infra provides for this. You can find a link to it from the Developer Manual. So you can follow along with this if you want to. Anybody can push to that. It's not a live uh, project, so you're not going to be bothering anybody by pushing changes to it. So the first thing we'll need to do to demonstrate this is actually to make a change in the repo. So let's go ahead and create a file, and we'll add that file to the repo. So you can see now we've made a change, and we will go ahead and commit that change. And because we're good developers, we'll put a longer description in the body of the commit message that explains what we're doing. Alright. And now we've committed it locally, so we need to push it for review. And to do that, we just type git review. And you can see, because I haven't actually run a git review out of this repo before, it's creating a remote called Garrett. And that's where it's going to push this change for review. And also, because I haven't done this before, it's installing a commit hook that is going to add a change ID to my commit message. And if we go over here and take a look at the actual commit, you can see there it shows up in my dashboard and you can see it's added this change ID to our commit message and that's actually part of the commit message now and it will not change unless we explicitly go in and change it so this is how Garrett keeps track of individual changes because we might push another commit with a different git sha under this same change and we will in fact do that later so this way the change ID doesn't change even if the git sha does uh, a couple of interesting things about the change IDs is first of all if you put a change ID in a commit message Garrett will automatically link it to the change that it refers to so you can see actually it even linked this one and if I click on this it will just take me back to this same commit or the same change but if I had a different change that I wanted to reference in my commit message then I could put the change ID in here and it would link me to that other change and in fact this is the recommended way to refer to a different uh, change from a commit message because this way Garrett can automatically link it to the correct address even if it decides to change the format that it uses for the addresses. Uh, the other useful thing that can be uh, handy to know about change IDs is that they all start with a capital I so even though they kind of look like a git sha if you see the capital I, you know it's actually a change ID because a git sha will never have a capital I in it. So now let's, let's imagine that a reviewer comes along and says, no, I, I don't think this should be foo, I think it should be bar. Okay, and they've minus one dar patch, and let's say we agree, okay, yep, you're right, that should be bar. So we'll go back over to our local repo here and move foo to bar. You can see again, we've made a change. Now, unlike what you might be familiar with if you're coming from another git system, even though we've already pushed this commit, we can actually go back in and safely amend it because Garrett hasn't merged it into the repo yet. So it's perfectly safe to amend commits until it is approved by the reviewers and merges into the main repo. After that happens, Garrett won't let you amend it anymore. You won't even be able to push to this review because it will be closed. So instead of pushing a new commit, we're just going to amend the commit that we already have. And we'll do that. And then we will push it for review again. And now if we go 
back over to the Garrett UI and we click on the click on the change number up there we can see we've pushed a patch set to and we've renamed the file to bar and yet it still has the same change ID same commit message everything that we had before but we've pushed another revision to the to the patch so that's that's the correct way to address comments on your reviews you shouldn't push another commit you just want to re amend the one that you had already done now if you're familiar with how the usual Garrett workflow is supposed to go you may notice that I didn't create a local branch for this and that's not recommended but I did that for the sake of simplicity here uh, in the next video we will talk about using local branches and how to do that correctly Thanks for watching.